March the 13th, Michael Vaughn with Lee Barker. Lee, there's a lot of news. We've got to go fast. Uh, PDAC this year was gigantic. Yes, Mike, it was uh, the largest attendance in history. Uh, we understand there were uh, over 30,000 people registered and came through the doors. And uh, the meeting right now is, is uh, it's very successful in integrating uh, investors and people in the industry from different countries that are looking for projects, apparently overseas, a lot of companies looking for things. But it seems to be getting quite large now, and there may be some sort of a a uh, promotion to get two beatings instead of one uh, due to the size and the fact that it's impossible to see everything in four Good days. Good exposure for Spartan. Okay, now you press release the Vanadium project. Bring me up to speed. Yes, we did. Uh, we spent about four and a half months, Mike, uh, doing some exhaustive metallurgical process engineering tests for the recovery of Vanadium from these deposits in Shushui County in Jiangxi, China. And over that period of time, we were successful in developing uh, four flow sheets that uh, have given us the ability now to remove vanadium successfully and economically from this material. And we actually applied for patents for those four separate flow sheets. And the flow sheets are different in uh, subtle ways, but different ways because of some of the differences in the mineralization. And you're getting some Asian investor interest in this. Yes, uh, we are. Uh, the, uh, the flow sheets, we actually have received patent application approval for them. And one patent has already uh, had been granted to us. Uh, but the Asian investors that seem to like this project obviously are those that uh, see vanadium as a key commodity in both the steel industry and the evolving use of vanadium in the battery uh, production system. And uh, we've got about uh, six or eight groups right now that have signed confidentiality agreements with us Good. and that are doing a detailed uh, due diligence evaluation of the program. And uh, we're quite optimistic that uh, we'll certainly get uh, some uh, senior financing for this project in the near future. Germanium now, do you have your uh, operating licenses? Uh, we have the mining license approved. We've paid the land taxes and the five other licenses uh, or updates that we were required to submit and uh, get approvals for. Uh, the last one was sent in last week. These involve things like the environmental certificate, the dewatering uh, certificate, the certificate for the mine operator's license and the safety certificate. Those have all been now approved. The last ones were filled out and sent in last week, and we're expecting that license by the end of the month. So when can you get to work? Well, we'll start immediately after the license yeah. is received, obviously. Uh, there's some upgrades we have to do and some rehab, but uh, we expect within about six weeks we'll be back in production after we start up. Mexico now. Have you closed the sale of that uh, gold-silver property? Uh, yes, we have. Uh, the Sierra Rosario uh, sale to American Consolidated Mineral Corporation was closed uh, earlier this week. Uh, we received the final payment and the shares of that company. And there's actually a work program ongoing there right now, about a half a million dollar program. They're doing uh, geophysical surveys, new road building, and they expect to be drilling on that property late April, early May of this year. So we're looking forward to following that very closely because, as you know, we have a royalty in that property that could bring substantial value to us. Add a coke now. Uh, what's happening with the drilling program that you're running? Well, our drilling contract with the Cisco is being, uh, they've requested us actually to uh, switch from doing the condemnation drilling for the infrastructure uh, site areas to actually helping them with some of the infill drilling on the ore body so that they can get additional information uh, quickly to uh, finish their feasibility study. And uh, that's uh, going to be a positive uh, development for us because it'll bring us some additional revenue and it will extend our contract probably past the end of this year. Uh, which will mean that we'll have cash flow generated from that job uh, at least until the end of this year and possibly afterwards. Good. You're making some good money on that. Now, I know you're off to China. What's the purpose of this trip? Well, I was invited about three weeks ago by the China-Canada Chamber of Commerce to make a presentation on the uh, 19th of March at a mineral resource forum that they're holding. And uh, I'm going for that. Uh, there were about 25 Canadian companies invited to make a presentation. I'm going to present the Vanspar uh, story to them at that, at that conference. And uh, we will be one of the few companies actually that works in China that will be presenting there. Most of the other companies are going to be presenting projects that uh, are outside of China that they're, they're seeking investment for by, uh, by Asian investors. Well, that's very timely with the progress you've made on vanadium lately. Yeah, it is. And, and the announcement that we have uh, made a bit of a metallurgical breakthrough on the process uh, engineering and the fact that we do believe we do have a commercial opportunity there that uh, has a very high value for the future. Have a great trip to China, Lee. I'll see you when you're back. Thanks, Mike. I look forward to it. Uh, thanks for the interview again. We're looking forward to doing uh, some more progress and some very significant updates once I get back.